these three lawsuits that we'll be filing are, are trying to attack the folks that are adopting this slumlord system of doing business. Today, the city of Detroit filed suit against four of the city's most prolific landlords. Michael Kelly, Salome Yasser, and Steve and Stephen Hagerman are being sued for what the city calls an invest and neglect business strategy, putting Detroiters in homes that are unsafe and unsanitary, including homes where lead levels are alarmingly high. It's the most dangerous and the most insidious of the conditions in our estimation. People who are being poisoned, especially children who are being poisoned by lead, they may not be aware of it and it's, it's not gonna get better. The lawsuit comes on the heels of a seven action news investigation into Michael Kelly, owner of Detroit Property Exchange, who's put scores of Detroiters into homes without heat, with holes in the roof, and sometimes falling apart. I just feel like, you know, for us renting it, you know, that they should keep up the code. Freddie McClary lives at this home on Sharon Street. After his grandmother lost it to tax foreclosure, one of Kelly's LLCs bought it and today charges Freddie $500 a month in rent. He lives here with his mom, cousin, and cousin's seven-year-old son. The homes had problems through the years, but perhaps the most alarming came to light from this lead inspection, conducted after the city ticketed the property, showing levels that were off the charts. And realized it was that severe. If you want to own these houses and rent them out and take these people's money, you got to fix, you know, the issues that are wrong with it. The report found lead in surfaces throughout the house. In some cases, levels 66,000 times higher than today's legal limit. Detroit Property Exchange was ticketed by the city in June. Today, more than six months later, they still haven't addressed the lead and still haven't paid the city's fines. In fact, McClary said he didn't even know how high the levels were until we told him. Lawrence Garcia, the city's top lawyer, says it's hardly the only time Michael Kelly has ignored the rules and why a lawsuit is necessary. This is an instance where a pattern of behavior demonstrates they don't care what the rules are. And uh, it's, it's, it makes more money for them if they don't obey the rules and they don't worry about the conditions of the property. But holding Kelly accountable won't be easy. While he claims to own about 500 properties throughout the city, he categorizes many of them as land contracts rather than rentals, meaning they wouldn't fall under the city's rental rules. Garcia says that's a loophole the city will try to close in court. If we have to appoint receivers, if we have to take the property, if we have to force Mr. Kelly to sell the property, whatever it is, we're not going to be getting money. We're going to be getting an end to a way of doing business that is dangerous. An attorney for Michael Kelly said they haven't yet been served with the city's lawsuit and could not comment. An employee at the Hagerman's Brick Home Management declined to comment when we asked to reach the owners about the lawsuit. Attempts to find contact information for Salome Yasser have been unsuccessful. Right now at WXYZ.com you can find a deeper dive into the city's lawsuit as well as an interactive map breaking down ways landlords have flouted the city's rental ordinance. Now Ross Jones, 7 Action News.